Breaking news from the city south side. You're looking at a live picture from Chopper 7 HD right now. Chicago police still on the scene where they shot a suspect near 61st and King Drive. Eyewitness News reporter Liz Nagy live at the scene with more for us. Liz. Rob, we just arrived here at the scene, and where we are at 61st and Calumet, there are not a lot of people standing around, and the perimeter that police have set up is pretty large, so we're waiting to hear from police officers in the next few minutes or so about what led up to this shooting. But right now, the Civilian Office of Police Authority can confirm for us that one person was shot by a Chicago police officer earlier this afternoon. That shooting came in around 2.15 this afternoon. The Chicago Fire Department says that one person was taken to Stroger Hospital for for that gunshot wound and is being treated as for the condition of that person. We are still waiting to hear from police. Now you can see this scene that's set up. There's a very large area that police are investigating. There's some apartments in the area. The shooting, we're told, happened near 61st and King Drive. But what police what led up to this shooting with police officers? We have still not heard. We hope to hear that information in about the next few minutes. Reporting live in Washington Park, Liz Nagy, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Liz, the, the building behind you, are those apartments? It's hard to tell. When Chopper 7 HD was showing uh, that, that large crime scene uh, that's roped off, it, are, those, are those units? Uh, it's difficult to tell from where we are standing, but that appears to be what it looks like about a four story building or so that are set up in small sections. There, so there is some sort of scene happening in in a courtyard, we are now hearing from police who are just walking up to tell us exactly what is going on. Chief of Area Central. Um, just one quick thing. Outside of this statement, I really can't answer anything more because of the ongoing nature of the incident, okay? So at approximately uh, just after 2 o'clock this afternoon, uh, third district officers were got a 911 call of shots fired, man with a gun on the 6100 block of King Drive. The officers responded to the scene. While they were there, they encountered a subject armed with a semi-automatic pistol. At one point, the officers uh, fired, uh, the officer fired and shot the offender, who uh, was then taken into custody. The officers immediately requested uh, medical aid and recovered the offender's weapon. Um, the uh, officers did have body cameras. That information is being reviewed. Further comment on that and the investigation itself will be addressed by COPA. Uh, the offender is currently in the hospital in critical condition. Um, as for department policy, the officers will be placed on a 30-day administrative leave, which is standard operating procedure for incidents of this nature. Was there more than one victim shot? Uh, to my the best of my knowledge, there is only one one uh, offender that was uh, you just heard from a police commander that they uh, had some sort of situation involving one male leading up to this shooting that happened at 2:15 this afternoon. Police are telling us that they're still investigating all of the intricate details of the situation, but they believe that that offender is now at Stroger Hospital in critical condition, being treated as per department policy. The officer who fired that weapon has now been placed on administrative leave. Police expect to be out here for quite a while longer, continuing to investigate this shooting. Reporting live in Washington Park, Liz Nagy, ABC7. Eyewitness News. Robin Judy. Thanks, Liz. A lot of new information there from police.